Well, a very good morning, my people. How are you doing today? I uh, thank you so much for being part of the Buzz UG right here every single day. I really appreciate. And uh, if it's your first time to be part of us right here, subscribe in case you haven't. And also tap on the bell for all the notifications. My name is Melad Milo, a.k.a. Fuller. Now, a section of Ugandans on social media have appreciated General Ivan Coretta for being humble and non-scandalous, like some of his fellow bourgeois generals. Now, General Ivan Coretta is one of the eight remaining bourgeois generals among the original 27 that brought President Museveni's government to power. And according to some social media users, General Ivan Coretta has never been in any scandals He's not been seen or heard making disturbing statements like his other friends he fought with. Now, some people said that if he unfortunately died today, Ugandans wouldn't be jubilating and celebrating like some are doing over Geno Tumine's death on social media. Others said that they respect him so big time, but the only problem they have with him is, you know, defending President Museveni to remain in power. Otherwise, beside that, he's a good man. Well, it should be remembered that General Ivan Coretta served as the deputy chief of UPDF from 2005 to 2013. Uh, he also served as the chairman of the General Court Marshal from 2006 to 2009. Dr. Kiza Besije has also condemned the celebration on social media over the death of General Eli Tumine. Dr. Kiza Besije, in an interview yesterday, said that we should avoid judging dead people because at this point they are in the hands of God. Besije also said that you can't really tell at the time of their death what kind of relationship they had with God. Someone can behave so badly, but at the end they repent and uh, mend their relationship with God. So Dr. Kiza Besije says it's not really good to judge people who have departed. Uh, Besije also said that Geno Tumine was a great listener, that he never questioned anything from his boss, President Museveni. <music> Meanwhile, President Museveni's government has announced the burial arrangement of Geno Eli Tumine. The burial program was released yesterday, Saturday, by Honorable Chris Bariomusi, the Minister of ICT and National Guidance. Well, according to the program, uh, the official vigil will be held today Sunday at 4 p.m. in his home, Nakasero, right here in Kampala. And tomorrow, Monday, the national prayers and uh, public viewing will be held at the Kololo Independence Grounds starting at 10 a.m. On the same day, Geno Tumine's body will be airlifted to his home in Remikoma in Kazo district and will be laid to rest on Tuesday the 30th. <laughs> Mubiri waje no tumine tuja ukutwa ala mumakage ale kazo mchalo echagwe bikoma There you go. That is the Minister of ICT and National Guidance, Honorable Chris Bariomosi. Meanwhile, the government spokesperson of Pondo had suggested that Geno Tumine's body be buried at Kololo Heroes Cemetery. I think this suggestion was rejected. <music> Yesterday, Michana Municipality Member of Parliament Honorable Francis Zake was introduced by his baby mama Namirembe Bridget to her parents in Kifamba, Gomba District. He was accompanied by His Excellency Robert Chagulanyi Sentamu, the president of NUP, and his wife, Babi Chagulanyi. 
But Banange, this woman is beautiful. Look at that picture right there. <laughs> Meanwhile, I saw someone complaining on social media that why is her skin color changing? Yet, you know, we have known Barbie as a natural woman. But I think that's makeup, if I'm not mistaken. Anyway, let me not go there. A horrible Zake was also accompanied by friends in the struggle. Well, congratulations, horrible Zake. We're now waiting for the real wedding that's happening very soon. And also, still yesterday, His Excellency Robert Chagulanyi Sentamu and uh, his wife, Babi Chagulanyi, celebrated 11 years, officially married as husband and wife. Bobby Wine, in his communication to Babi Chagulanyi through his social media platforms, said, on this day, 11 years ago, your father handed you to me in Lubanga Cathedral and we pronounced our vows to each other before Archbishop Cyprian Kizito Luanga. We took the Holy Sacrament of Matrimony together. You even tattooed my face on your back, Choka <laughs> What a day that was. What a beautiful experience. It's like only yesterday. Dear Babi Chagulanyi, it's been such an honor being married to you. I couldn't imagine a better companion. May this, our 11th wedding anniversary, bring you sweet memories of our love story. I love you so much. Wow, wow, wow. I like this. I really like this. <laughs> anyway, that's it that I got for you this morning. And... I don't know what you think in case you have anything on your mind about the stories that I have put out to you. Uh, please put it down in the comment section. But before I wind up today, I want to send my regards to Rashid, big upon yourself. Draga Charles, big upon yourself, bro. Wanyenza Evelyn is also a big listener. Thank you so much, Evelyn. Yes, our young David, how are you doing, brother? Big upon yourself. Barak Sozi, big upon yourself. And um, Ink in your hands, big up, big up. Uh, Salima, big upon yourself. And uh, finally, Kasozi Abdul, big up, big up, big upon yourself, brother. Other greetings will be coming in a little bit later on. Otherwise, guys, I love you so much for loving the Buzz UG. For now, allow me to wind up from here. Subscribe in case you haven't. And also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Have a beautiful Sunday. Audio Jungle.